Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. This was posted by My Math Solutions. We've got three rectangles and it wants us to know the area of this rectangle in the middle. So first let's focus on this gray rectangle. The area of it is gonna be base times height. This two centimeters only goes to here, so let's make the rest of this x. And since the bottom is x plus two, the top would also be x plus two. And we can change the base into x plus two. Now for the height, we know this part is three and for the unknown part, let's call it z. And since this is three and this is only two, we need to make this z plus one so that both heights are equal to z plus three. And now let's bring these rectangles back. Let's get rid of the question mark and bring this rectangle inside here. And let's focus on this rectangle here. This 26 centimeters squared refers to this backwards L shape, but we don't know the gray area, so we'll call that A. We know that A plus 26 is gonna be equal to the area of the whole rectangle, which is seven times six. 7 times 6 is 42, and after we subtract 26 from both sides, we find out that A is equal to 16. And A is this rectangle made up of X times Z, so really we found out that X times Z equals 16. And that's really what's most important here. And now let's extend this other rectangle and focus on it. Now if we call the area of this region B, we know that B plus 36 is going to be equal to 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56, and after we subtract 36 from both sides, we get B is equal to 20. And this b is also equal to the base times the height, or in other words, x times z plus 1. And that's really what's important here. Now we have a system of equations. We have two variables and two equations. Let's get x by itself for both of these. For this top one, we'll divide both sides by z. These z's will cancel each other out, leaving us with just x equals 16 over z. And for this one, let's divide both sides by z plus 1. And then these will cancel, leaving us with just x equals 20 over z plus 1. So we have found that x is equal to 16 over z. Well, in the place of this x down here, I'm going to plug in 16 over z. And now we have a proportion. We can solve this by cross multiplying. We have 16 times z plus 1 is equal to this 20 times z. And then we can distribute this 16. 16 times z is 16z. And then 16 times 1 is 16. And on this side, we have 20z. And then we can subtract 16z from both sides. On the left-hand side, these are gone, so we just have 16. And on the right-hand side, we have 4z. We can divide both sides by 4, and we have 4 equals z. And then we can rewrite that as z equals 4. So since we know that z equals 4, I'm going to plug in 4 for this z right here. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. So we know x equals 4, so we can plug in 4 for this x. And we know z equals 4, so we can plug in 4 for this z. Here, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, and here, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7, and 6 times 7 is equal to 42. We have now found the value of our question mark. It's 42. So for this question mark, let's put in 42 centimeters squared. That is the answer to our question, and it's already got a box around it. How exciting.